deep in enemy territory. 80 miles from Baton Rouge, the Ohio State Buckeyes came to the Superdome ready to play. Beanie Wells, the Buckeyes 1400 yard rusher, broke off a BCS national title game record. 65 yard touchdown run on the fourth play of the game and just over a minute in, Tigers were down seven. After a quick three and out, the Buckeyes drove 50 yards and added three more on a 25-yard Ryan Petroyas field goal. And suddenly, the mighty LSU defense looked vulnerable. We've been in big games before, man. I mean, we're playing a big game every week, you know, so, I mean, we wanted to come out and just stay within our seven and, and, and do what we do best is play LSU football. All month long, LSU had to listen to how it was Ohio State's defense ranked number one and not the Tigers. So imagine how proud Bo Pelini must have been of his defense when they shut out the Buckeyes as the offense rang up 31 straight points. We've been through that before. We've had adversity. We've been in tough situations. And our guys always respond the right way. There was no panic. And it was just, let's go back and play the way we know how. And that's exactly what the Tigers did after a Colt David field goal. Matt Flynn connected with Richard Dixon for a 13-yard touchdown. And the Tigers defense and special teams would take it from there. We're down 10, go right back to 10, block the field goal, get the pick, and then they don't stop us from that point forward. Uh, we take a demonstrative lead. And, you know, I, it was pretty, pretty obvious that we were going to have offense enough to finish the job. The defense came alive, dominating the line of scrimmage and harassing Ohio State quarterback Todd Beckman all night. Meanwhile, the offense was clicking, scoring on five straight possessions before the Buckeyes would find the end zone again. Early Doucette capped the scoring with a four-yard touchdown reception, and for 35 minutes, the Tigers made it look easy against the number one team in the country. We were the number one team in the country at one point, and now we are tonight, so I don't think that, that was a big deal. With a, with a healthy football team, you know, I, I put our football team up against anybody in the country. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, you look at the clock and you're up th uh, 21 points. I mean, you know you have that chance, but you get that sick feeling in your stomach. You know, you don't want to celebrate until it's over. When the clock finally did run out, the Tigers were 38-24 winners, capturing the BCS national title in New Orleans for the second time this decade. Some special things they did. And, uh, we stand atop of college football. It was a very emotional time for the seniors, the leaders of this team. We've been through so much together. Guys with that kind of character and those a special group of guys like that, you, you want good things to happen to them. As LSU moves to the future, they graduate 25 players, the most decorated senior class in school history, racking up 56 wins and now two national titles. From New Orleans, Phil Orban, NBC 10 Sports.